You speak a lot about the constitution and it's very important. And obviously you were part of the team that orchestrated one of the best constitutions in the world, which is the South African constitution. But it's not what we say, it's what the world it's is what saying. The world sees. It's what the one world of the says. best, yes. One of the absolute best. Can you take us back to when you were called to be part of this team to orchestrate this? When Mr. Del Sol Mandela was released, have I told you the story of getting a call from Mr. I'd love for you to share the story. <laughs> uh, the story from uh, uh, on the phone from uh, uh, the present vice president, uh, George Nelson told me to tell Arthur Chaskelson that the two of you have got to take a role of doing a good constitution for South Africa. Oh, thank you, Cyril. Does that mean that I've got to become a member of the ANC? And he said, no, we don't want your 12 rands. <laughs> um, but they had also uh, asked you to um, become a politician or a judge, and you declined. And, uh, yes, uh, uh, to finish with, uh, <laughs> with Cyril, uh, he said that he would try and get me an exemption from toy toy. <laughs> Uh, I've never toyed. And toyed. the 12 rand. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've never paid the 12 rand and I've never toyed. toyed. And, uh, Arthur Chaskelson and I, Nelson knew that he was the best man to become the Chief Justice. He appointed mm -hmm. him as Chief Justice. I was offered a political job and I didn't want it. I was. Uh, uh, offered a judiciary job and I did not want it. And uh, we have a good history of strong judiciary. We are speaking as a lawyer, I'm proud of them. And I'm sure that the vast majority of the people are, are with them. It is true that quite a lot of Poor people have not improved their position. Mm -hmm. Not everything can be done in a generation. But on the other hand, if we have a look at the provisions of Section 25 of the Constitution about the land question, mm -hmm. there are nine sub paragraphs which the government was prepared, or was obliged to do in order to distribute land, particularly land not uh, uh, being used uh, for proper purposes. And uh, they haven't really taken any s s strong steps to actually uh, do what the nine sub-paragraphs of Section 25, they suppose to look around, which is the land which is not being used properly. And the, the, the man who owns it can't ask for a fortune which he's going to share, by the way, with the seller because it's orphaned money, it belongs to the government. It, uh, we don't have to press the man who is not using the land to hand it over to landless people. Uh, I think that there are things that ought to have been done which have not been done. And I hope that the future government who look at the Constitution, accept that it is bound by it, and take the steps, the nine steps allowed by Section 25, 
in order to to give landless people land which is not profitably used for the benefit of the country. Mm. And there is a lot of it. Do you not, would you say you understand why there's so much uh, dissatisfaction around the land question and it's come up so often? Because the government has not done what it could and what was expected to do by those who are responsible for doing the constitution. This leaving it open that a farmer who is a millionaire and who pays proper taxes and produces tremendous maize quantities to say we're going to take the land away from you and we will give it to landless people and he will not get any money for his land. It doesn't work that way. It will not work that way. Zimbabwe is an example of that sort of thing does not work out. It makes people who are using the land properly, who are actually making a contribution to the wealth of the country, are not deprived of any fundamental rights which are guaranteed by the Constitution, not only for the poor, but also those who have property and are using it properly. This is something that can increase the jobs that are available, the production that uh, is produced uh, for the benefit of the country as a whole, and uh, not for jobs for pearls, and also millions of uh, uh, rants given to friends and members of families and How does this all make you feel when you when you look around today and so much has changed for the better but so much also still needs to be I'm done I'm pleased that you say that it's for the better I do believe that in many respects it is for the better but uh, fundamental things can't be changed overnight or 20 or 30 years. Uh, we need a government consisting of people who care not only for themselves or their relatives or they become millionaires or have very fancy cars or taken over farms at exorbitant fees by sales, part of which goes to the man that does the deal. Uh, this is what happens in Zimbabwe and other undemocratic countries. It is also happening amongst us and I'm hoping that whatever government we may have in the future will take the lesson that is staring us in the face if we look what has happened in Zimbabwe.